What is up everyone? I hope you're doing well. I just want to do a very quick video on some techware basics and I'm also going to do a small quick review on Uniqlo heat tech because I think that is one of my most worn pieces of clothing out of my whole entire wardrobe and it's one of the most versatile as well. It's a great piece of clothing especially for the money so I'm going to do a quick review on that and I'm also going to talk about other basics in techware such as cargos, any jackets, anything like that but I'm going to try and keep all of these basics extremely versatile so no matter what climate you live in you can most likely incorporate these into your wardrobe over time after being into clothes for so long i've really noticed a pattern of what i really truly wear all the time and things that are really versatile and then things that are just like yeah they're sure they might be cool but i might never wear them so i just thought i would share my thoughts on my most worn techwear basics and then also just do a quick review of the Uniqlo heat tech. I, th I think it's really great for fabric technology, especially for the price. So anyways, uh, also I got a new camera and I have autofocus and this is an absolute game changer for me. So I am super, super geeked on this. So yeah. Okay, uh, I just checked that video. My hair is very messy today. So I'm gonna just throw on this hat for the rest of this video. But anyway, so. This right here is one of my most worn shirts. It's 20 bucks, Uniqlo Heat Tech, just the standard long sleeve version. I did get the extra warm version. They do have their standard Heat Tech one, then they do have an extra warm line. I did get the extra warm, but I do have both and both are still very warm. There's hardly any difference between the two, but I will say Heat Tech, it is noticeably warmer than a normal t-shirt. But this one plain piece of clothing actually has a lot of really cool technical features in it. Something that you notice right off the bat is it does have a nice stretch to it. So that aids in mobility and just comfort overall. And also has dry technology in it. So if you do sweat a little bit or it gets wet, it dries very fast, which is something you want in a shirt like Heat Tech that's a garment designed to keep you warm. So if you do get wet, you want it, your shirt to dry very fast just so you don't get those cold chills in the winter months. Another cool thing about this shirt is it actually has deodorizing properties as well. And that is something I have noticed is it does take a lot longer for this to start smelling a little bit bad than a normal t-shirt. I swear to God, I do my laundry. But having a deodorizing property in a shirt, especially one so versatile such as this, is always really nice because you can get so much wear out of this. And in case you have like a busy week and you just don't have time to do laundry, this will hold out on smelling bad much longer than a normal t-shirt. They did incorporate argan oil into the fabric so it does have that very soft feel against your skin even in the dry months of the year. Now the overall cut of this is it is designed to go underneath other clothing. So the neck, it is a little bit wider than most and the sleeves are just a tad shorter as well. However, it's not that big of a difference and I still wear these shirts just on their own without anything over it. I actually really like how this fabric kind of flows on the body as a t-shirt because it is a little bit of a thicker fabric and it's really soft. Um, it flows very nicely. So yeah, no, there's not too much else I can say about this other than it's extremely versatile. And even if you're not into tech wear at all, you can still incorporate this into your outfit. A lot of times if I wear, let's say just like a crew neck and then like some jeans on something, I'll throw on the Uniqlo heat tech underneath it and tuck it into my pants and then throw this on over it just to give me that extra layer of warmth. And just adding something like this to like a crew neck sweater just makes it so much more warm and just more comfortable for the colder months of the year. Okay. For some reason, if you don't like Uniqlo Heat Tech, there are loads of different other options out there. A shirt that I've been wearing a whole lot is this 511 Tactical Merino Wool Blend shirt. Uh, it's very similar to that. However, instead of being synthetic wool, it is actual Merino Wool Blend. So moving on to other basics in tech wear, I think looking at my wardrobe and just really thinking about what I wear the most and what is most versatile for me is just a really good pair of black nicely tapered cargo pants. And what the ones I'm talking about are, I actually tapered myself, they are from 511 Tactical. And I did a whole video on them, so I'm not gonna talk too much about it. And you don't have to get those, but any pair of kind of plain pants that um, are kind of a neutral silhouette, nothing too skinny or too baggy. And when it comes to basics and tech wear, I think if you really nail down some nice fitting, 
good technical high quality shirts such as Uniqlo Heat Tech or something like this merino wool shirt. And you also get a really nice pair of black or neutral toned tapered cargo pants, not too skinny, not too wide. I really think that's a solid foundation to build up more of a tech wear wardrobe from that. Because once you go beyond those two things, people's personal tastes like really start to come out. Okay, I'm just gonna do some honorable mentions of some really good uh, basics in my opinion. British Army Surplus Commando Sweater. Amazing. Now I know this isn't like techy at all, but honestly a good quality basic hoodie I wear all the time, including in tech wear outfits. Like if you take this and then put a cool vest over it, ooh, it's nice, 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 nice fit, I think. I wear uh, just plain puffer jackets a whole lot. It's really easy just to throw on and wear. So this is the Uniqlo ULD. Something like this, you don't, it doesn't have to be Uniqlo, or if you don't like puffers, just something that's a very versatile and plain basic. The cool thing about these is you can layer them underneath a shell jacket or wear on its own. And also the Uniqlo ULD ones are packable as well, so you can just ball it up and throw it in your backpack for ease of use. And lastly, uh, something like a Uniqlo Block Tech. This is the convertible coat, so it's a longer coat. Something like that, very basic. You can wear this even with some business attire, because that's kind of what it's designed for. Or you can dress it down into like a techie or cyberpunky fit. Uh, but yeah, just something basic, good quality, good functionality. And that's what you need to look for. But I think key is just versatility when you're looking for tech or basics. Anyways. I've been rambling, video's too long anyways. I will see you in video pretty soon. Uh, thank you to everyone who subscribes, I really do appreciate it. I would love to hear your thoughts on what you think is a great tech or basic in the comments below. Also, if you wouldn't mind leaving a like on this video, it would really help me out, it just helps promote the video among the YouTube algorithm. But anyways, I will see you in video pretty soon, so. One last autofocus, oh my, wait. Oh my God, I love autofocus.